Is there a best time of year to list your home in Austin? Well, I can show you the last several years of data to help you answer that question. In general, Austin has a very seasonal market, and especially the more so as you get out into the suburbs, it attracts a lot of families with children, and families with kids typically buy based on the school season. So the busier times of the year where buyers are out are generally in the spring and summer. By the time you reach midsummer, a lot of those families have stopped shopping. They want to already be settled in by school season. And school starts early here. It's usually around August 15th or so, where some other parts of the country might be after Labor Day. But our school, for whatever reason, starts around mid-August, which means families want to have already moved in, usually by July or so. So you can see what happens to our sales cycle here. This is showing, this was a crazy example in 2022, but our prices went up over 20%, hit a peak in May, and then just as quickly came back down. This was due to added pressure because of interest rates. But we normally do see a downswing in the sales cycle in the fall and beginning of school year. Now to show you in 2021, that was probably the hottest year ever in real estate, but our prices went up again, super high in the spring, and then they came back down about 11 to 10 to 11% around the start of school, picked up just slightly. 2020 is the only one that's kind of an anomaly. It makes sense that our spring market, everything kind of shut down. We were having a normal, super active market, but with what happened in 2020, businesses, everything just stopped for a few months. So that spring market got delayed, the rest of the year um, picked up again. So we kind of had our spring in the fall, but that was just a one-time thing caused by the whole economic global shutdown. If you go back to 2019, you still see that same um, upswing in the spring and then the downward trend and the same thing back in 2018. So when you're looking at a graph like this, the main thing you want to realize is that where it's at the peak, like let's say uh, last year, 2022, the peak was in May. Those are for closed sales. So if it closed in May, that means that the property had to have been listed or under contract back in April because it generally takes 30 days to close on a property. It may have sat on the market for a little bit, so that property was probably listed the month before in March. So if you list your home, usually in March and April, those are the peak months that have the most number of showings, the most offers, and you can catch that trend of the buyers willing to pay up, um, less negotiating power on the buyer side, and a lot more competition of buyers competing against each other, which is ideal when you are ready to sell your home. The worst time to list would be right where school starts, like the week of school, just forget it. <laughs> like, don't even bother listing it right then, um, especially if you're selling one of those big houses attracting families. Um, your situation might be different if you're selling like a single, you know, one bedroom downtown condo because you're not appealing to someone that's really worried about the school season. But just know that if you list later in the year, you'll actually make less money than those who sell in the spring. Now, ultimately, when you should sell depends on your circumstances. If you don't need to sell in the spring, but something happens to you in the fall, you change jobs, you get married, something changes in your life, then of course you can sell your home any time of year. There's closings that happen year round in Austin, but just expect that it's going to take a little bit longer you're gonna to have to be more conservative on price in order to get that sale. If you were thinking of selling your home this year and you want to brainstorm your timeline and best strategy, click the link in our caption to book a quick appointment with us.